Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for, well technically it's like a pick a number reading. These are messages that you need to hear right now. So we've got 1010, 1111, 888 and 555. So whichever pile you're most drawn to, that's going to be the reading for you. I just really wanted to do something quite different and uh, it seems like a lot of people see a lot of repeating numbers as well, a lot of signs, synchronicities, so in all honesty I just felt very drawn to doing this and uh, just felt very very connected to it as well. I've lost my glasses which honestly is like honestly the best thing in the entire world when I'm doing a reading and I don't know where they actually went. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I had a feeling I would find them. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Right, so we've got this Pile number one here with the green crystal, we've got pile two with the corresponding purple-ish crystal, purple pink, and then we've got pile number three, 888, which, which has the blue crystal, and then 555 has the uh, white crystal. So whichever, again, whichever one you're most drawn to, the description box below will have the timestamps, you can go there, click on the reading and watch it. So we're going to get lots of interesting information out as well. Um, also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below for more information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course my intention items which are on Etsy as well. Everything is there. So the intention items, they are the handmade bracelets that I make. So I'm actually wearing an angel bracelet as well as an evil eye one as well. These are handmade, meditated with and saged. There's so many different items on my Etsy store so please do check those out as well if you're interested, you know. Alright, so <laughs> let's begin. I'm so excited for this reading. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. So let's begin first of all with 1010. All right, so group number one, if you have chosen the pile for 1010, and group number one, this is going to be your reading. I'm also going to be shuffling lots of different cards, which I'm very excited about. Ta -da. We haven't just got one card, don't worry. <laughs> well, lots of different cards. So 1010 here is um, the message which says good health and harmonious living. Now, 1010 is also an angel number as well. And I've actually got the numerology booklet which came with the cards as well. So I thought it would be nice to look through that as well um, and give you sort of the message that comes with it. So here it is. Um, so it says this mirror hour could mean positive life changes are on their way to you. So if you ever see 1010, it just means that really good things are coming your way. And I also feel like with this green crystal as well, it's about opening your heart up to these new changes. Sometimes we can be a little bit resistant to change and we can feel like, oh, but I really like my comfort zone or, oh, I really like this person or, oh, I really like, you know, what I'm doing now. But then when you ask your heart deeper down, if you feel like this is the right thing for you, you might actually end up saying, I'm not really sure if this is the right thing. But then you you want to stay in your comfort zone, you know, so it's, it's that kind of energy of like opening your heart up to those changes. And um, you just don't know, it could be 10 times better, right? So it says here, you might be currently living in a period of development, whether it be on a spiritual or professional level. It could also indicate that a happy event is on its way in your family life. Think back to what you wanted most when you were little and meditate on it now. This card will be with you for a while after it is picked and the benefits could be felt for a lengthy period. The angels are recognising the successes you have achieved and are granting you with positive vibes as a result. A real reward for your hard work and perseverance. Enjoy it. Okay, because you have picked this card, obviously, with this group. So let's have a look and see what more is coming through with tarot as well. All right, so I'm just going to grab the tarot cards. I'm actually going to use the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot cards. Let's see. So 1010 is a beautiful angel number. It shows that your angels are actually working alongside you to also remove obstacles and challenges, remove issues that you could be dealing with, that you're not dealing with right now. For some of you, you might be like, but Moonlight, I'm dealing with a lot of issues. <laughs> you never know. The angels could have really removed a lot more that you could have been dealing with also in the future. Let's get some tarot cards. King of Wands. Nice. I like this. This is ambitious. 
leadership, right? This is strength, real strength. I don't always, I mean, I don't really see the King of Wands as very egoistic. The reason for that is I see more so, I know this is going to sound a little bit strange, but I see the sort of Emperor as a little bit more like ego, King of Wands, uh, sorry, King of uh, Swords as more sort of ego. I see the King of Wands as someone that's kind, caring, compassionate, but also really hardworking and has a bit of an ego perhaps in terms of like career, you know, so you might be quite egoistic in terms of your career and trying to achieve the most that you can. But I don't see you as like this really like closed off kind of person in that sense. It shows you have a lot of compassion um, within you. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. But basically we've got here the Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups. See, this is progression. This shows that the, the sort of things that you want, perhaps even materialistically, the things that you've been dreaming about, things that you've been wanting, they are not out of reach. They are very much so in reach. So you can pray to your angels and your spirit guides, but you must open up your heart. If you're staying in a, in a situation which you know is not serving you, it's taking so much more away from you than it is giving, you have to ask yourself, isn't it so much nicer to be given as well? This could be, so, this could be for so many of you in romantic relationships where you just feel like you're always giving, 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 and you're not getting anything in return. Ask yourself, is that really what you want? Is that what you want for the rest of your life? To be chasing something? Good health and harmonious living. Okay, that, that also goes with chasing certain things. Does that bring you anxiety and stress? Having to constantly chase something or someone? Right, that's not good health and good living, like harmonious living. That sounds really stressful. I'm just saying, okay, some of you might be chasing someone, like really wanting things to work with someone, and then getting, you might be getting really anxious because it's not working with someone. You might just feel so frustrated, like, why is this person not caring about me the way I care about them? I'm just saying, okay, if you want to, you know, have good health and a harmonious living, you have to also look after your needs as well, and not just run after someone else. Um... Or something that doesn't give back to you in return. Try and manifest the you know the best thing. Say to the universe, you know, I want the best possible outcome. And then if ever you get rejected by someone or something, just look at that as the universe trying to give you the best possible outcome. They're removing all the rubbish, okay? Even if you think it's good, they're removing all the rubbish so that the best can come to you. It's the best energy you can truly live in is uh, trusting the angels and the spirit guides as well. Okay, let's go with this. Seven of Wands. See, that's that's the kind of struggle here. I feel like you're you're refusing or you're trying, you're holding on to something that is creating a lot of imbalance at times, and it's almost like you know you're a little bit stubborn. And you're like, no, I really, I really want this, or I really want this particular person, or I really want this particular um, thing, you know. And uh, I feel like the Queen of Swords is you knowing what you want, but at the same time, it's it's you kind of clashing with your boundaries and your non-negotiables, and it could be that you're holding on to someone or something that is just not serving you, it's not suiting you for the long term, but you just kind of want it, you know, you just want it, so it's very interesting. Three of Pentacles, I just want you to know that the best is still yet to come, so Three of Pentacles, you know, this is, this is amazing, this is an amazing education card for those of you in education, it's an amazing career card as well, the best is still yet to come, and I, I want you to believe that. Manifest, okay, think about what it is that you actually want, don't think about the actual person that you want, or the, the exact career that you want, no, no, no. We're not manifesting like that, all right? You have to manifest the best for yourself, which means writing down a list of qualities that you want in a person, writing down the list of qualities you want in a career or in a job or in a boss, and then you leave it to the universe. You don't just manifest a specific person, right? Because that's not you actually getting the best that's for you. If you're, if you're, if you're saying, you know, I want that guy, Steve, then it's, it's, it's not going to you know, that's, that's just not the way to do it, really. Um, so, sorry, you know. Um, you want the best possible outcome, and that's what it's showing here. I feel like you're stressing yourself out more, you know, if you just want what you think is right for you. Part of this is leaving it to the universe. Surrender, surrender. That's, that's literally what this is saying. Surrender to your heart, right? Surrender. Like, I'm, I'm literally just saying that. Surrender. Um, it's interesting, these cards are actually called The Universe Has Your Back. <laughs> that's, that's the name of the cards. So let's see what message the universe has for you.
Okay. We've got two here. Three. Okay, well, we've got three. That's fine. I will deal with that. No problem. Okay, my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Just can't make this up. Open your heart. Open your heart to bigger, brighter possibilities. This is something you really need to hear right now because you might be holding on to an expectation. And that's just eating you up inside. Think about the fact that there could be so much more. I'll give you a personal explanation because I think, I, I remember giving some personal explanations before and some of you found this really, really helpful. I spent three years going to university to study fashion. I spent majority of my A-levels, so for example in high school, also just concentrating on that. I, I literally thought that was my dream. I literally thought that was what I was going to do. I spent years working in fashion as well. You know, I, I thought that was my life. And uh, then I, of course, transitioned into tarot. I never in a million years thought that this would be so incredibly amazing like it is, because I always had an interest in spirituality, but taking it sort of to this direction is, is very... <laughs> Is very different um, but it happened you know and it's that sort of allowing yourself to step out of your comfort zone and what you've known for so long or what you felt for a while is is different you know it changes very very different but when you allow yourself to do that you can find something so much bigger so much better so much more fulfilling and uh, that's that's literally that you know that's the career sort of situation but if you look all around you there are people that go through transitions in relationships transitions in friendships transitions you know in the most like crazy crazy ways and they find something so much better so I want you to know that whatever you're dealing with right you will find your happiness but when you are aligned 100% to your personal soul and your goals okay so align to your soul and your goal just know that the universe is is working not against you but for you but you might have your own ideas as to I want this and I want that and the universe is like, but that's not actually good for you. Why do, why do you want that? You know? So, your, your level of faith in the universe is, is your happiness as well. Okay, we've got another card here which says, the more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. That's so true. So true. Live in love rather than fear. And uh, have faith. Have faith in the universe. Have faith that there is a higher have faith in your angels, because 1010 is also a repeating angel number, and um, you will feel free. You know, the bird is never scared of falling off a branch. Why? Because the bird knows that its wings are so powerful to fly, right? The, the bird knows it can fly, so it's not afraid of sort of landing on a weak branch. It knows how to fly. So have faith in your abilities. Have faith in your you know, your ability to do things. That's what I would say. Now we've got here, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. So, you know, when you let go, you move forward, it's, it's you know, it's a really good thing to do. And then when you sort of see someone again, you know, see them with fresh eyes, not with what was the past. I think that's really important as well, especially if those of you sort of letting go of relationships and careers that are no longer serving you. It's important to forgive um, not necessarily to forget, but it's more so forgiveness for yourself so that you can emotionally move forward as well. Big changes here. Now, from the Keepers of the Light deck, let's get a message. Rigid, inner strength, right? We've got a lot of um, energy here in terms of like faith and strength and believing in yourself. All right, so you've got here, move back to wholeness, recognize that you have power. You have so much more power than you recognize. So staying in a place which is limiting you is probably not the best thing in the entire world to do, right? Because you're limiting yourself. You don't want to limit yourself when you are limitless, right? Am I right or am I right? <laughs> you want to feel your power. You want to feel your strength. You want to feel your confidence. And I think that's really important to do. And it is much more simpler than you realize. It's just about trusting yourself as well. So important. Um, don't feel guilty, you know. Just know that there are bigger, better things out there for you. That's literally the biggest message of this reading is that there's so much more out there for you than you actually realize. You might just be opening your eyes slightly. If you were to open them fully, you'd be like, whoa. Plus, if you open your third eye as well, you'll be like, oh my gosh, we like, whoa, another dimension <laughs> altogether. So like the message also uh, mentioned, you know, meditation, um, like it said in the magazine here, it said, uh, think, think back to uh, what 
you most wanted when you were little, right? When you were little, you had dreams, I'm sure, things that you wanted to do. Think back to it, meditate, it says, and meditate on it now. Meditate on it. I, I really feel here that your third eye could be really activated uh, in terms of what will what will make you feel like, whoa, you know, that's what I needed to know. So meditation on your third eye can be amazingly powerful too, just saying, but meditate on all those things that you, you wanted. And also realize that with that comes gratitude. When you were younger, you probably wanted some of the things that you have now, believe it or not. So it's that sort of sense of gratitude as well. So this is your reading group number one. Uh, so yeah, if this resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway. Um, also, intention bracelets are on Etsy if you are interested in those. They are linked down below and I'm wearing a few of them right there. Um, so yeah, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, etc. <laughs> and uh, do take care as well. All right, so let's just move away my little dis move away my little display. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Group number two. I have a feeling this might be the, one of the most popular groups we have got in this reading, all right? Because 1111 is a repeating number that is, I, I genuinely believe that it's probably one of the most Googled repeating number combinations. I, I genuinely believe that it is very, very popular. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is the one that's clicked on the most. Um, so. Yeah, I'm just saying that, but uh, it's interesting actually, when I was choosing the crystals for each of the um, cards, I put the crystals down and I shuffled um, some of these cards, and I knew I was going to pick 10, 10, 11, 11, and obviously don't really know too much about the other two, so I was, you know, shuffling those as well, and um, it just aligned to this crystal, and it just goes together so beautifully, so seamlessly because of the coloration. Um, so yeah, it was just meant to be. So let's have a look and see what messages we have. We're also going to be using some other tarot cards and oracle cards as well to give further messages for this. So it says here 1111, intuition, insight and enlightenment. Now for many of you, you may be seeing 1111 literally anywhere, all right, anywhere. And 1111 is a very, very powerful fire energy number. Now to balance out the fire, we need water. So you know, 1111 is also to do with ambition, drive, our paths, you know, the ways in which we want to go. And I do feel that sometimes adding a little bit of water to it can sort of calm the energies of 1111 as well, especially if you're seeing 1111 like crazy and you're seeing it all the time. What I will say is um, go at it with a little bit more emotion, right? Add a little bit more of your emotion to it. So if you see 1111 and you're thinking, wow, I'm on the right path in my life, that's really great. And then start to bring in a little bit of emotion, you know, start to think about, you know, what that means, you know, you might think to yourself, wow, you know, I really have a lot of gratitude, you know, that I'm seeing 1111. Wow, you know, when I was younger, I remember praying for the things I have now. So by doing that, you're sort of balancing out the energies and you're manifesting even more because you're combining it with gratitude and you're also combining it with water to counteract, not really counteract, but sort of, you know, add to the sort of fire energy as well. And, you know, when you add a little bit of water to fire, the fire actually does sometimes get bigger. So I'm just saying, okay, that might be very interesting for those of you that want to manifest even more with 1111, I'm just saying. Okay, so I've also got the magazine here that corresponds to um, these cards, and I'm just going to read the 1111 meaning here, okay. Seeing 1111 is always thought to be a good omen and rarely associated with anything negative. Okay, so anytime you see it, have gratitude, you know, bring in that emotion like, wow, I'm so grateful to see 1111. This is amazing. Um, and it says here, this is a clear message from the universe that you need to open your eyes and become more conscious and aware of the spiritual world around you. Your spirit guides might be trying to connect with you, or it could be the sign of an awakening to show you that you are on the right path. 
seeing 1111 is thought to be a good omen and is very rarely associated with anything negative. Well, they have a little quote here, which I think is just taken from the sort of snippet um, <laughs> of the words there. So that's why I just repeated it. It says here, after picking this card, stay grounded in the moment and look out for spiritual signs that the angels might be showing you. So look around even right now. All right. You, you may see a sign which also re sort of uh, talks about 1111 or, or something like that. I remember when I've done readings before and I've pointed out like, wow, guys, it's 1111 on my phone or um, I see 1111. So many of you have also commented saying, wow, it's 1111 where I am as well um, or things like that. So just be aware right now of, you know, what's going on around you. Are you seeing any feathers, any, you know, any little things going on? It could be very interesting. Um, and also it's that energy, right? I did say here, stay grounded in the moment. I literally also spoke about gratitude, right? So that makes sense as well. Oh my God, no freaking way. I didn't even read this beforehand. Oh, That's amazing. It says here, show gratitude to others to uplift your spirit. It literally mentions gratitude here as well. Amazing. It's like I'm psychic or something. Um, yes, so show gratitude to others, to uplift your spirit and ask for guidance when you need it. The spirits are watching over you in the exact moments you need them to and will be listening out for your prayers and affirmations. Trust, 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 really, really trust. So I want to say trust, you know, um, they're there. Your spirit guides, they're there. They really are. They really are. So let's get some uh, tarot cards here. Wow, talk about one of the most spiritual cards in the tarot deck. It's the hangman. You know, hangman is Neptune. Neptune is very spiritual as a planet. The home sign of Neptune is Pisces. So I talked about sort of adding in that water energy, right? That's the spiritual energy as well. The fact that Pisces is the home sign of Neptune, Pisces is a very spiritual, spiritual sign. That just really goes to show here that meditation, yoga, journaling, breathing. The, these things are very, very powerful. If you see 11.11, that can be a really good sign to just be really conscious of what's going on around you and how things are. That's powerful. That's incredible. Unstoppable. So yeah, being spiritual, um, taking care of yourself, self-care, you know, can really be very, very powerful as well. Again, this is a, a sign here, the hangman is about enlightenment, it's about pausing for a little period of time. You know, when you meditate, you're also kind of just pausing, right? You're disconnecting. That's the that's the energy here. That brings you so much more intuition, insight, and also enlightenment. You know, your mind starts to, to be very enlightened. It's like an awakening, you know? So, but in a sort of like a not so crazy way. Um, and then also you've got here the lovers. See, everything starts to align. When you align with yourself, when you align with yourself, the most powerful, powerful vibrational energies start to manifest. And also you've got an angel at the top there as well. So they're working, okay? They are working to protect you. They're working alongside you. Even if you believe like they're not, they are, right? You have no idea how many obstacles and challenges they've lifted out of your life. You have no idea. They could have lifted out some of the biggest things that you could have been dealing with right now. You have no idea. You really don't. So, Page of Wands. of swords okay ace of swords is about epiphanies some of you may have like um, big realizations when you see 1111 you might be like oh my god i need to do this particular thing or you know shortly after seeing it you might be like oh my god i need to finish this assignment or oh my gosh you know i just realized that i i feel really good about myself and the qualities i possess um <laughs> you might you might literally feel that way 
Also with the lovers as well, it's showing you that your love life is going to be strong. So if you're struggling right now with your love life, or you have no idea, or you really don't care about it right now, I will say that there's some beautiful energies coming through in regards to stability and happiness and fulfillment. The more you align to yourself, the more this energy aligns to you as well. Page of Wands, absolutely stunning. Page of Wands gives me so much happiness to, to just look at it. You know, this, this energy here is about fulfillment. This energy is about lifting your vibrational energy. This is also about your hobbies, your goals, your dreams. Like, don't be afraid to partake in the things that make you feel good, right? Um, also, just going out and helping people or doing things for other people, but also doing things for yourself, you know? So again, taking up a new hobby or going traveling, don't feel bad about that. You know, the fire energy is very present. This is about also thinking about yourself, doing things for yourself. So make sure you do, do things for yourself, right? Got that sort of desert energy as well. It's hot, okay? It's hot, which is why sometimes the water energy, from that like Pisces energy, <laughs> really helps to sort of calm things down as well. Sometimes things get a little too hot, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Judgment. Don't doubt yourself, really. I, I say that very, very significantly. You've got another angel here. Oh, they're there, okay. They're there, they're helping you. They want the best for you. They really do want the best for you. I wonder which major arcana is number 11. You see, the thing with Moonlight is that she is really rubbish at Roman numerals. Um, I can memorise just about everything except for Roman numerals, so let's have a look. Actually, let me look at the major arcanas. Major arcanas. I believe Wikipedia, even though, you know, we shouldn't really trust Wikipedia, um, because, you know, it's, it's not necessarily the most accurate, but I mean, you know, I think they probably have got their arcanas right. Okay, so number 11, um, they sort of get sometimes strength and justice mixed up. Uh, okay, that's fine. I was wondering actually if judgment was number 11, and then I was like, yeah, I pr probably don't think so, because X, X is, is not. Even though it's not, I know, but you know what I mean. Okay, anyways, um, so judgment. Pluto, okay, this is about transformation. Know that when you see 1111, it is lifting your vibrational energy to something so much better, so much greater, that you probably don't even realise. You probably have no clue, no idea as to what it is, but it is significant, all right? So judgment here is a strong vibe, strong energy that is pointing you towards big changes. Your spirit guides and your angels and this repeating number is bringing you great change in your life. It's going to bring you so much more speed, so much more momentum, sorry, so much more momentum and uh, progression. So just trust, okay? <laughs> What the biggest message I feel you need to hear from this all right now is that 1111, whenever you see it, it is, it is the universe and the heavens literally shining a beam of light to your soul. And so having gratitude towards that, having emotion towards that, you know, seeing it and being like, wow, you know, I, I, I remember praying for the things I have right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Or saying, you know, thank you to your angels and your guides for helping you and lifting out certain challenges and obstacles that you even have no idea about. It makes them... You know, it makes their heart warm as well. Wow. Lots of enlightenment. And also taking care of yourself as well. So from the universe has your back oracle cards, which um, is kind of funny to say because, you know, the universe really has got your back. And 1111 has your back, all right? Um, the cards that we have is, I am the dreamer of my dream. That's so true, all right? You are the dreamer of your dream, but you're also the creator of your reality. And I know sometimes it's a little bit strange because you might think, you know, but yeah, there are certain circumstances that are obviously written and there are certain circumstances I can't control. But remember, you are the dreamer of your dream. Whatever happens in your dream, sometimes you can't control everything that happens in your dream. But there are elements of your dream that you can control. And those are the bits that make dreaming exciting, right? Is that sometimes you can't control everything, but there are certain things you can. Same with life. You know, you can control certain aspects, you can't control the rest. But the thing here that I'm seeing is that you have power, okay? Even when you think you don't have power, because you might be thinking, yeah, but I dream. You are the dreamer of your dream, right? So you have more power. It's like life, you know, you might just think, oh, life is like this, but you also live life, right? You make choices in life. So you also have power. So this is about realizing that you have so much more power. And then we've got here this message which says, the presence of love will always outcast, sorry, will always cast out fear. So true. Live in love rather than fear. Even with the lover's card, right? Live in love. 
live in love, grow in love, cherish in love, be yourself in love, love yourself. You know, this is this is the energy here of um, it's not about being fearful. It's about loving yourself, being there for yourself, caring for yourself. Nice. And let's see. Gaia. Wow. This is really it's quite special. It says here, Earth Connection. Um, be mindful of the planet, come back to Earth, stay grounded. Isn't that what we were kind of seeing here before as well with the message as well? Um, it's literally showing you here to connect to Earth. For, for some of you, this is sort of just realising that actually you are also living on Earth. You know, you are not just some random thing that is just going on Earth and, you know, that's it. You have power. You have so much more power. Um, be mindful, you know, of the things going on around you. Be mindful of your energy. Be mindful of where you're putting your energy. For some of you, this is also about sustainability and perhaps sort of taking more care <laughs> over the things that you do. But or maybe the things that you buy or, you know, packaging, things like that, you know, um, carbon footprint. But this is more so also coming back to, to earth, you know, stay grounded. And uh, even 1111 here, meditation, you know, looking after yourself, very, very important. Um, look, you know, look after the planet like you look after yourself. And for those of you that are looking after the planet and looking after others, make sure you look after yourself in the same way. Live in love rather than fear. If you don't want to live in fear, you know, um, it's just not the way to be. But then to, to live in love means also taking care, you know, as well, of things as well. So take care of yourself. That's what I would say. So group number two, this is your reading. If this resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, for the giveaway, of course my intention items as well, which I'm wearing, ta-da! And uh, definitely take care as well. I hope to see you very, very soon. This was your 1111 message. Bye-bye. <laughs> Um, bye bye or you could watch another one of the readings uh, for sure why not you know why not so you could click on another timestamp if you wish to all right so group number three this is your reading for october november and december 2020 we're going to see what is coming through, what messages, information, clarity, knowledge, etc, etc, etc. This is for the angel number 888 and it says here, infinity, infinity, infinity forever and never ending love. Wow, you know, eights are very, very lucky and um, I definitely feel like this is such a positive and powerful number in so many ways. So I just feel like this is such a lovely message that we do have. So let me just find the message to read to you. It says, this card is full of luck and love in all forms. Wow, just it seems to me like it's just flowing, you know, it flows. And to be honest, when I think of number eights, I think of like the infinity symbol as well. Like it just keeps going and going and flowing and flowing. And then I think of this crystal now as well as like water, you know, just flowing and flowing and flowing. So nice. Okay, so this card is uh, full of luck and love in all forms. Couples are said to choose wedding dates with these numbers in to help secure their happiness and everlasting love. Choosing this card doesn't just mean romantic things are on the way though. It could also be linked to meeting new people, starting new investments or sending your CV or resume uh, out to potential new employers. It's important that you pay attention to the universe after this number comes into your life, as it could also mean a better job, a new friend offering fun opportunities, or something else intriguing. As always, remember to do your own research before embarking on a new adventure, and not to be reckless and reliant on faith alone. So true. Um, obviously, you know, we say like, oh, you know, the universe does something so much better, but then you've got to also work at it. You know, that's the thing, you've got to work at it, do research, all that kind of stuff. Um, faith alone cannot make a relationship work, right? Because you have to put in the work for it. Faith alone cannot make a business work. You gotta also put in all that work and effort and time and perhaps even, you know, money resources. So it's just something to be aware of. It says here, stay focused and in tune with your spirit guides and you could reap the rewards of number 888. 
So some of you could be seeing eights quite a lot. Um, it could be very meaningful to you again with certain dates and things like that. But basically, if you chose this number, regardless, you know, if you just decided, oh, that one looks really nice, <laughs> then these are the messages we do have for you. All right, so I'm going to use some tarot cards as well to give more messages. Chariot, wow, yeah, amazing, never ending, right? So the chariot here is about a journey, and uh, this is beautiful. It shows here the energy of the two sphinx, which also represent yin and yang, right? So when we think of yin and yang, we think mutual harmony, balance, flow, growth, potential, progression, things getting so oh my god wow you know so much more better and a lot of flow because it's water energy you know water energy lots of flow lots of direction ten of pentacles stability security again that that sort of um energy that we we saw there which is saying you know that it could be linked to meeting new people starting new investments you know as we see with the ten of pentacles um you know sending your cv to potential new employers you know in terms of career this can also be about new relationships or um, trying to commit, you know, to furthering um, a relationship as well. So it's really nice to see. It also family energy as well, you know, building bonds or trying to continue forward certain bonds in a connection. Okay, so of wands. At times you may feel challenged, you may feel like, okay, this is a lot, I don't know how to do this, it's like really crazy, but, um, it, you know, there's this potential, there's momentum, there's progression, there's joy, fulfillment, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of good stuff that I'm seeing here for Pentacles. Nine of Cups, which is also, by the way, to do with your sort of goals, your dreams, and your wishes. It's it's never ending, you know. This this cup here is also overflowing with so much infinite abundance. It's literally flowing with so much love and joy and emotion that is just so so beautiful. So if you feel stuck in a rut right now, you feel like you're struggling, just know that it's it's not that the cup the cup right now is is a little bit stagnant. You know, the the tap needs to start flowing. <laughs> <laughs> for the water to also sort of go over the edge of this particular cup. Nine of Cups is about your wishes, your dreams, your fulfillment. So, you know, take care of your dreams. Put yourself first. Um, Nine of Cups is also about feeling comfortable as well. So this can also be about taking care of yourself so you feel comfortable. You don't always feel so challenged and like, I need to do this, I need to do that. It's about feeling comfort within yourself. This is also um, a card to do with investments as well. And feeling comfortable in your relationships and also your career as well. So if you're feeling stuck, just know that energy energy goes where energy flows, right? So abundance goes where energy flows as well. So it's just one thing to keep in mind. You've got a lot of energies here showing you that there are good things coming. But you may feel at times a little bit challenged. Okay, you might feel a little bit, find yourself a little bit challenged, a little bit frustrated, like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. But we got this. Absolutely. 100% we've got this. We have definitely got this. Okay, so from the universe has your back. Let's see. So a message that I feel you really need to hear, especially from the tarot cards, is if you're worried about your finances, if you're worried about love, please don't worry about that. Instead, put good energy and intention into making things work, making things progress, making things go in the right direction. And you'll find yourself feeling so much more satisfied, so much happier, so much more content, so much more fulfilled, and less stressed, less worried, and less upset. So, I'm just saying. Okay, so the cards that we've got here is My Fearless Freedom Lights Up the World. That's amazing. A chariot here shows that there's so much more coming to you than you probably even realise. So, no. <laughs> that your freedom here is going to light up your life, light up the world, light up the way that you see things. This card here says, attack pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation as merely calls for help. Okay, so it's okay. Okay, if you feel like you're really struggling, as I mentioned before as well, it's okay. Okay, that's the message we've got right there. They are merely calls for help. You've got this. That's all I want to say is that you have got this. I know sometimes it's a little bit like difficult to 
comprehend and to understand why we struggle or why we feel like we're suffering. Um, sometimes we feel like we're suffering or that we're not getting the right thing. But sometimes the universe wants us to learn certain lessons so that when the universe presents us amazing things, we're like, wow, you know, I have so much gratitude for this. Getting everything we want, if we just got it randomly and we just got what we wanted, would never feel so great. You know, it wouldn't feel fulfilling. It would just feel like, oh, great, cool. I've just got my, my relationship. Okay, cool. I've just got my career on track. Okay, cool. I've got, you know, the best friends that I always wanted. Great, great. You know, life gives us these series of challenges, so we also have a sense of gratitude, so that we also learn to deal with fears and anxieties and stresses and challenges, so that we become stronger as well. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I know I was shuffling the card out from the Keepers of the Light deck, and I saw that we had Kali Ma, but honestly, I forgot what the, the message at the bottom usually is for Kali Ma, and it literally says here, facing fear. And that is literally what I was just talking about this entire time. So, not, you know, not surprised by that. It says here, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So what we're seeing here, you know, my fearless freedom lights up the world. And we see here some struggles. We see here, you know, the chariot is just raring to go. Are you going to get on that chariot? Are you going to just trust the universe that wherever this chariot is going to go, it's going to be the place that you, you know, you couldn't even imagine? Imagine if your abundance and if the universe wants to give you something that you couldn't even ever imagine right? That's crazy. So this here is about facing your fears. Sometimes you have to face your fears and look them straight in the eye and be like, you know what? You're not going to consume me. Nice try. Nice try. You're not going to consume me. Um, sometimes rejecting certain things that you know are not good for you is the universe's way of testing you. Testing you to see how strong you are. Testing you to see if you're ready for the real deal. And it can be so painful, okay? Sometimes it can be really painful looking at something straight dead on in the eye or telling that particular thing, you know what, I really think you're right for me in my life. Whether it's a career, a person, whatever it is, or like an object, you know, and then you just kind of throw it in the bin. It's hard. It's really hard. You know what's really impressive? Having belief in the universe and believing that something better will come along. That's the fear, you know, um, that's the fear, and this is about you facing your fear. Major spiritual changes, that means that you're going to have so much more belief in yourself as well, okay? So not just you having belief in the universe, like, hey universe, I trust you, cool, thanks, okay, bye. This is you saying, I also believe in myself. This is you perhaps practicing meditation, yoga, journaling. This is you... Um, doing as much as you can for yourself, you know, these changes are unfolding, it's happening, it's progressing, this is your chance to use your wings, you may not feel like you have your wings, but you do, and that is your power, 888, you know, it's like an infinity symbol, it keeps going, it keeps going, don't give up, okay, it keeps going, every day, the sun will rise, every day, the sun will set, whether you see it or not. <laughs> the moon is always there, whether it's a new moon or a full moon, right? Whether you see it or you don't, it is always there. You will get through this, okay? And you will find a lot of abundance. Your love life here is coming across as very strong and stable also in the future as well. Right now, it may be or it may not be. What's really important here is to know that you have yourself and to look after yourself is you facing your fears. For some of you, you might be in your singular energy, right, all together and you might be really scared, like, oh my God, what if I don't find the right person? Or you might be in a relationship, scared to let go of someone that you know deep down is not right. But then what are you doing for yourself? Are you facing your fear? Or are you holding on because of fear, right? Remember, my fearless freedom lights up the world. Are you living in love or are you living in fear? Are you holding back for that job opportunity out of fear? Are you holding on to a job because of fear? And I will say, you know, situations are different because with certain jobs, obviously, you know, it's, it's hard to get jobs, especially, you know, around this time as well with everything. So I can totally understand if people are holding on to jobs because they want to feel secure and abundant. But then, you know, in time, I do feel that, you know, it's important to ask yourself that question of if you're holding on to it purely just because you're fearful of finding something else and with jobs most um, most of the time people will um, you know keep searching and then they will 
you know, switch jobs, you know, accordingly. With relationships, it's a little bit different where some people, they're not just going to have someone, you know, waiting on the sidelines and then switch to that person. You know what I mean? So relationships is a little bit different. Um, you know, with career, you know, people will usually find another opportunity and then switch their jobs. But with relationships, it's a little bit different. Um, different. But it can be a struggle together because, you know, there's that energy of staying within yourself and trying to find, you know, ways in which you want to do things. Um, but really great opportunity here also to start new businesses as well. Just saying that because it's got quite a lot of sort of investment energies as well um, coming through. And also this infinite abundance to sort of um, gain more money, gain more finances as well is really coming through quite strong. So I'd say that's a really lovely energy that we do have. Um, it's really nice to see in all honesty. So I think that's really beautiful as well. So this is your reading. This is your reading. All right. So um, yeah, that is what we have. Group number three. If you found that this reading resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course my intention items, which are on Etsy as well. And do take care. All right. So let's now move to group number four. Let's have a look and see what's coming your way. October, November, December 2020. This is for you. <laughs> Oh no, not October, November. Wow, okay, wow. That was just like the most bizarre thing in the entire world. I'm going to start the timestamp again, sorry. I really do apologise about that. I was like reading something off the side. I just got completely distracted. This happens sometimes. All right, group number four. <laughs> this is your reading. Uh, so if you have chosen pile number four, which is 555, this is going to be your reading. You've also chosen this beautiful white crystal. We're going to see what's coming through. So... We've got here the angel number 555, which says positive changes are on the way. We know that fives are all about transformation. Fives are all about change. Fives can also be an energy of conflict, but with resolution. All right, so some of you might have been seeing this quite often, but you might have just chosen this particular pile to get your messages as well. So let's have a look and see what messages I have for you and messages that you need to hear. So I'm going to just grab the tarot cards and we'll see what is coming through. Okay. And then I'm going to read the actual message from the book as well for 555. Um, I was actually supposed to do that just now, but I started shuffling these cards. So let's have a look. All right, so let's have a look first of all at 555. By the way, um, if anyone's wondering where I got these cards from, um, it's actually the Soul and Spirit magazine, and they usually have cards that come with their magazine subscription every single month. It's actually really affordable because um, you get, you know, a free set of cards with your magazine, and then it came with this extra magazine as well, which has the corresponding information for the uh, numerology as well. So we've got here 555. The angels are signaling. Oh wow, actually, look at this, right? You've got the four of wands there. Let's have a look at the rest of the cards. Hmm. Angel number. Uh, eight. <laughs> it's interesting actually because it's an angel number which is sort of 1111, but also it's um, an angel card at the same time, this four of wands. So it says here the angels are signaling to let you know that new promising opportunities. There you go with the ten of wands uh sorry ten of pentacles are coming your way you might have been asking the universe for a sign to help you decide what to do next that's literally the nine of wands wow i love how this is connecting it's like a little story and this could be your answer whether you're looking to make a change in your relationship switch careers or take yourself on a new adventure now is the time all right so i'm going to shuffle one more card out as well in a second the card and the number 555 are all related to positive changes, even if the journey itself isn't always an easy one. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, just remember that the angels are here to guide you and ensure, and ensure you trust the process. So try not to worry, be fearless in the face of change and rely 
on your spiritual faith, that's the hanged man right there, to guide you. There's also the, the king of cups energy as well, you know, that's your faith, that's your confidence, that's your emotion, that's what carries you forward in life with empathy. The universe loves empathy, by the way. Okay, the word card. Yeah, see, this is you, right? This is you. This is your confidence. This is your strength. This is your inner bubble. This is this is what makes you you. So, with that being said, <laughs> with that literally being said, four of wands, all right? This here is showing you that there is some amazing changes coming your way only if you choose to believe in them, especially in regards to love and career. The ten of pentacles here is stability, security, and commitment. Again, love and career. Big highlights. The hanged man here is about your spirituality, your purpose, right? This is about you finding yourself. This is about you finding your purpose in life. This is about you feeling enlightened. It is about you feeling secure. It is about you feeling yourself. And it is about you gaining that momentum, that confidence, that happiness, that joy, that fulfillment, you know, that you, you really want to feel. So that's the hanged man right there. This is also that energy that is also tied to Pisces, which I think is quite interesting here. You know, you've got a lot of that here, which is about going with the flow. When change happens, it can be really daunting. Change can be really difficult sometimes, but it's also about going with the flow of the change, right? It's about knowing that, you know, change is actually very positive and it can be a really good thing. It can allow you to learn so much more about yourself and others as well. The nine of wands, you know, you might have been thinking about certain changes and whether you want to do them, whether you don't, whether you want to, you don't, you might have been going, you know, back and forth, back and forth. I think it's really great. I think that it can help you. I think that it can make you feel better. I think it can allow you to feel stronger. I think that there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. So it's cool. <laughs> what else can I say? It's cool. Okay, so go with the changes. Try not to resist these um, changes. So you've got here the Keepers of the Light Oracle. And I'm also going to just shuffle for a Universe Has Your Back Oracle card. Oh. Should we take them? Let's take them. I think we should. Uh, let's take all of those. Okay, so yeah, I wow, you know, fives and fives in general, they they signify so much change and transformation, and you know, it's almost like you know, you kind of five plus five, 10, you know, 10 is known to be completion. So again, going from the five to the 10 here is that sort of energy of like, wow, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted for it to happen. So believe in it, you know, believe that it will happen. Um, positive changes are definitely on the way. The more you're thinking about it, the more you can feel like, oh my God, is it going to happen? Is it not? The more you sort of go with the flow of the energies and you practice spirituality, you take care of yourself, you work hard at the things you're already doing and sort of let everything in the background sort of work itself out the more you will feel like, you know what, I feel good in the moment, but also when it happens, you'll feel really good then as well. It's about detaching as well sometimes as well from the expectations that you do have. And, uh, you know, once you set the intention, let it sort of go, you know, focus on what you're doing right now and you'll feel much, much better. So we've got here these cards which say, in any moment I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation and stillness. Um, so that prayer energy comes through with the hanged man as well as well as the Four of Wands, which is the Angel card. So that's a really beautiful, beautiful energy here. Surrender, you know, like the World card, surrender. Surrender to what you have around you. Surrender to the positive energies and the positive forces. Surrender to just this presence of love, you know, rather than living in fear, live in love. You know, the stillness is not bad. You know, the hangman here is literally in stillness, is sort of paused, but feels so enlightened. Right. And that's literally the energy of meditation is it's so still, it's so calm. It's like it's kind of crazy because I read somewhere that, that someone thought meditation is like a complete waste of time because you're just sitting there and you're not doing anything. But actually, it's one of the most powerful things in terms of vitality. It's one of the most powerful things in terms of moving forward. It's one of the powerful ways of dealing with, you know, stress with, oh my God, everything. Right. So it's actually very significant here to surrender and to contemplate and be in stillness and solitude. It can help you so much to realize what you actually want in life and also what you don't. So that's that's what we have there. Uh, this one says here, I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself I am love and miracles are natural. Isn't that beautiful? Miracles are natural. Miracles happen every day. We are on a spinning ball in the middle of space. 
we are the only planet where there are humans that we know of, okay, because, you know, you might be like, yeah, but we might, I bet there's like another planet, okay, well, there could be, but, you know, that we know of. That in itself is a miracle. Do you know how many things have to be so perfect in order for humans to exist on this planet? The temperature of the sun in relation to the distance that Earth is from the sun has to be so perfect so that the sun doesn't scorch us all, or that, you know, Earth's gravity has to be so perfect so that we actually stay on Earth. You know what I mean? Like, there are so many factors. The fact that the winds are so, you know, not as, you know, not strong enough to, like, blow us off, off the planet. There are so many factors that are so miraculous. There are, there are millions and millions of little things that come together so that we can live on this planet. And that is a miracle, right? Because we can't really exist on Jupiter, right? <laughs> the com the you know the chemicals compound like it just it does not work. So just imagine that living itself on this planet is a miracle. And that that is that is the love, you know, that is that is the most powerful gift we can have. And so say to yourself, you know, I am love. And miracles are natural. They are natural. They happen every single day, whether you believe it or not. So I always say, like, you know, if there's that one skeptic in school that's like, oh, miracles, they don't exist, magic doesn't happen, they're missing out on everyday life. That's that's what it is. <laughs> um, so mindful moments, yeah, throughout the day. Um, again, you know, that hangman is really coming through here. Mindful is just uh, really being present, you know, having gratitude for the small things and just being mindful. Um, for example, you know, if you're watching someone's tarot reading on YouTube, you might be really mindful of the fact that they take so much time to, you know, do their, their readings or that you're mindful of the fact that they uh, post a lot or you're mindful of the fact that they... Like, you might, you know, it doesn't just have to be a tarot reader, but it could be, you know, artists and musicians that maybe you listen to the music off. You're like, wow, you know, they put so much thought, so much effort. Um, and you might be really just very mindful of, like, wow, you know, there's so many people out there that are, like, constantly travelling, constantly doing this. Like, wow, you know, maybe they get tired. Maybe they, you know, do so much. So um, that's, you know, an energy that's, that's, like, really coming through where they might where you just, you just have a lot of mindfulness and you're able to sort of understand things to a higher degree, if that makes sense. So that's what's coming through. Um, so you also have here, when I lean towards love, I am led. So rather than fear, which is complete opposite, when you lean into love, you find yourself feeling better, but you also find yourself aligning yourself to the, be the, the things that make you feel so much stronger, so much happier as well. Okay, so that is the energy there. And the last one here is instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. Right? So instead of like praying that, oh, you know, I want this, I want that, or I want this particular person or this particular job, instead say to yourself, I want the best, the, the highest good that there could be for me or for others. I just want the highest good. And so then you're actually manifesting so much more than just oh, I want this job, I want this, I want that, right? You're manifesting the highest good for yourself. I see this all the time where people want a specific person, so they'll manifest that person. And it's all great, you know, they get that person. But actually, there could be something so much better for them. It's just that they don't want to manifest that because they just, they don't really want that, right? But it could be so much better. That's the thing. So it's just one thing to be aware of is sometimes we can manifest something that's even better for us just by manifesting the highest good for us rather than you know, another, another direction, but that is pretty much that, so <laughs> this is your reading, don't be afraid of change, instead be afraid of living in fear, all right, you don't want to live in fear, you want to live in love, so change that, you know, that's a great place to start, instead of living in um, fear, live in love, and you'll see just how much of a positive change that also makes in terms of your life, in terms of your outlook, in terms of mindfulness, in terms of spirituality, in terms of the little things in life. Whereas someone might irk you if they say something to you. Instead, when you live in love, you'll be like, you know what, maybe someone told them something and so they're cranky today. They need some love, you know, rather than getting frustrated at them or angry at them. If you're at a supermarket and someone's just really being very impatient, you know, um, behind you. Maybe instead, you know, think with love that, you know, maybe that person just has had, you know, a terrible day or their wife got angry at them. Live in love. 
you know, um, that's very important. It's, it doesn't mean that you let people step over you. It's, it's just realizing that, you know, that's okay. Okay. That, that's not something that's going to like affect you forever. What will affect you is the people and the places that you allow to stay around you. <laughs> okay. So, you know, there's little things when you live in love, you will start to be a little bit more mindful of, you know, other people as well. And it's really important also to ask yourself those questions. Are the things around me right now serving me, suiting me, making me feel better? All right, so this is your reading group number four. What messages you really needed to hear right now, right this second. Sorry, I forgot this card as well. Um, so this one here is the Miriam, sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal, right? See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. This is literally what I was talking about. You know, if someone says something to you, just know that maybe they went through something themselves. Um, so this is exactly pretty much what I mentioned. Sacred vision, you know, seeing things from a different perspective. Forgive, right? Forgive those that annoy the hell out of you or, you know, annoy annoy everything um, in you, but also forgive yourself as well. Love has no boundaries, see the light in everything, but also don't forget that you also have your boundaries as well, okay? Uh, that will make you feel better, I hope so. Anyway, so this is your reading group number four. Hope this helped, hope it gives you clarity. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course my bracelets, which are Etsy as well. Ta-da! Um, and do take care and stay safe as well. And yeah, do subscribe uh, as well. All right, take care. Bye!